So I've been trying to deal with AliExpress. I bought some chips, some M92 T36s, 20 of them. Basically, I tested three of them and none of them worked. They all come up with a 2101 0001 error code on a known working switch. And unfortunately, AliExpress decided that even though I've submitted photo evidence, and you can clearly see, absolutely fine soldering job, if I do say so myself, and it comes up with a 2101 0001 error code. So I put, I tested three of these ICs on a known working switch and all three give me a 2101 error code. The board I've used is confirmed working and has no faults. The seller said provide evidence, blah, 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 and can't prove chip no work. Um, pretty sure I can, mate. And then AliExpress have stepped in and said no refund. So I'm going to give them one last chance. They've asked for a video. And if they've asked for a video, then, well, unfortunately, uh, well, let me just uh, show this as well. They said, you, for, for, you, for, your claim, the, for you claim the products don't work, the picture evidence is not enough. So they're going to get a video, and I'm going to take a brand new chip out of the packet, and I'm going to do it on video. But now, hey, Patrick, thank you, mate. Take an errand off and organise your bench. Cheers, mate. Um... Yeah, they've asked for a video, so now they're going to get video proof. But unfortunately, they're going to get video proof in front of a live studio audience. Because I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to post this on YouTube, but now people are going to know who the fucking seller is. If it serves them right. So, let me just get the information for the actual listing up. So here's the listing. Original new, blah, blah, blah. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't show a picture of the actual chip. It's just a generic picture. So I paid 22, 24 pound ish times two, blah, blah, blah. Now I've used this setter before. Um, who's the seller? Shenzhen Hongming Electronic Co Limited. That's the one. There's a working switch board. Let's get a working switch LCD. So I'm going to make a video and just show that they don't work. So this board, I'm going to show that it works before I do anything. So unfortunately I've got to do this, so this is just a bit of... I've got a day to do this, so I need to do it now. I've got 24 hours. Uh, well, just over 24 hours. 36 hours to get this done, so I'm going to show this board working and then I'm going to put one of these brand new chips on. And I'm going to prove that they don't freaking work. Because I'm sick of being called a liar. Took a little bit to activate, but it is working, and that is absolutely fine. It boots up, no problems at all. No problems at all with this board. This is one of the one of the boards that I am um, selling on the store. It's uh, Unpatch V1, so it works absolutely fine. No problems. Been fully tested, etc. So this is an original chip. I'm going to take off. There we go. So here's the three chips that I've attempted to use, and you can see the difference in the chips. You can see the difference in the chips straight away. I knew within minutes that these were fake. I just knew, 100% that these were fake. Look at the difference between these chips. Let me take a brand. New, let me take a brand new one out. So this has never been unsealed from here. You can tell when it's been unsealed because it'll change colour look. I've just unsealed that. It's never been taken out. It's a brand new chip. You can tell straight away that these are fake. Look at the difference. Look at the font difference. This is a genuine chip. This is the original chip that comes from factory. This, this has never been replaced. And look at the font difference. They are 100% fake. So I'm going to install this chip. It's brand spanking new.
There we go. <coughs> Just to prove it's the right chip that I haven't done anything untoward. So I'm risking damaging a working board here just to prove that this stupid seller is a liar and that they're selling fake chips. Literally risking a working freaking board. Yeah, you can visibly see that is the chip that's come out of the packet. Hundred percent fake. Okay. Right, same screen. And it'll turn on, it'll attempt to boot, and then it'll give me a 2101 error code. Exactly the same setup as before. Five volts, zero amps. This one ain't even working at all. This one's not taking anything. Five, five volts, zero amps. Let's plug in the power button. See if it turns on without the power button. Or with the power button, rather. Attempting to boot. Twenty one oh one triple oh one error code. No one from that seller from that company can tell me that that's not enough proof. There is nothing wrong with the soldering. There's nothing wrong with the installation of the chip. There's nothing wrong with my setup. I'm using a bench power supply for replicating a full battery. And in one fell swoop, and I will guarantee there is nothing wrong with the soldering job on this. I'll guarantee it. I'm that confident in my work. I am that confident in the soldering job. Absolutely nothing wrong with those solder joints. At all. Turn it round. Nothing wrong with those solder joints. One sec, sir. Nothing wrong with those solder joints. Nothing wrong with those solder joints. Absolutely nothing wrong with them solder joints at all. And we've got a 2101 0001 error. If that's not proof enough, I don't know what is. Let's just have a look, see if I get any shorts on these capacitors around, uh, around M92. So. Let's get it back in focus. Continuity. No, no shorts. Nothing. No, absolutely no shorts. Nothing. Thanks. Sorry, coffee. It's alright. You're right. Yeah, I'm not right. 
Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, there you go. Nothing wrong with that, with that solder job. Nothing wrong with the installation. Nothing wrong with the board. I'm going to put the other board back on, the other cheap back on now because I've basically just killed a board just for that. And then I'm going to prove again. By the way, it's not powered on anymore. And then I'll show again and this will work absolutely fine. There's my chip. By the way, I don't recommend installing a chip while it's inside the housing. I'm doing it because it's my own housing. It's just a test housing anyway, but I'm used to doing it. I can do this without melting the housing. But I definitely don't recommend you do it. Do as I say, not as I do. There we go. Again, in one fell swoop. 15 volts, 0.25 amps. So straight away, we've got a different behavior. It's booting. And that's with the genuine chip. That's with the genuine chip. So these are 100% fake. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind. There's four chips I've fucking tested and not one of them work. I'm not going to sit here and keep putting chips on boards to test every single one of them. They can all go back. But the first four chips I've tested, all four of them, fake. Say no more. Say no freaking more.